يسوع العشرة معاك أحلى عشرة Nabaioth is an ancient nation mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter 60. Nabaioth, a name that is not used much in the Bible, is only mentioned five times. But the nation of Nabaioth is very much part of bringing amazing gifts and worship to the Lord of Lords in the end days. This coming to the Lord, this journey, could be a physical journey or a spiritual journey. But for now, we would love to see the ancestors of Nabaioth coming to know the Lord Jesus, coming to him today. In chapter 60 of Isaiah, we read, Herds of camels will cover your land, young camels of Midian and Ephah, and all from Sheba will come, bearing gold and incense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. All Cado's flocks will be gathered to you, the rams of Nabaioth will serve you, They will be accepted as an offering on my altar, and I will adorn my glorious temple. Nebaioth is the oldest son of Ishmael, the son of Abraham and Hagar, and probably Abraham's first grandson. We do not know if Abraham ever met Nebaioth. Family dynamics were not good between Hagar and Sarah. But we know that Isaac and Ishmael buried their father Abraham. Nebaioth could have been there as well. Because of Assyrian writings dating to the 7th century BC, many scholars believe that Nabaioth settled in an area near the city of modern-day Hale. Many parts of Hale province are grassy and full of life because of the water in the area. The people of Hale are known for their hospitality and generosity. You can just imagine them bringing their rams and camels to the Lord and giving their best to him. He is so worthy of giving all our best to him. Today, it is hard to find people who identify as part of the Nabaioth nation. Probably thousands of years ago, they were conquered and divided and mixed with other nations. The Al-Shamari tribe is the largest tribe living in this land, who Isaiah says will bring gifts and worship to the Lord of Lords. Will you pray that what God intended for the nation of Nebaioth would be fulfilled, that they would come to know him and that they would honour him with their lives? Pray for the fullness of what Isaiah saw for Nebaioth to come to fulfilment. Pray for the salvation of the tribes in the area of Hale in Saudi Arabia. Thank you, Father, that the people of Hale are hospitable and generous. May they know of your great gift to them in the Lord Jesus Christ. May they accept this gift today. Would you please join in and pray for the nations listed in Isaiah 60, verses 6 and 7. You can learn more about them from this link. (laughs) 